Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis and members of her team now have two weeks before they can expect the judge overseeing the case to issue his ruling after final arguments were heard today. It's been weeks of courtroom drama after Donald Trump's legal team sought to disqualify Willis over a personal relationship she's had with one of her prosecutors. But will his team be successful here? ABC's Olivia Rubin joins us now from Georgia. Olivia, the judge said he could rule sometime in the coming weeks, but re regardless of a ruling, really any delay here is sort of a win for Trump in the short term, right? Absolutely. Even if she doesn't get kicked off of the case, Donald Trump has scored some wins here in Fulton County, specifically politically, because even if she is not off the case, think Phil, about everything that has come out about the district attorney in these weeks of hearings in Georgia. Uh, you know, issues about her relationship, issues about trips taken, issues about the district attorney's sex life have been aired out for everyone to see. And those are political wins that Donald Trump can take out with him on the campaign trail and give him some ammunition that he needs to say, hey, the cases against me are flawed, which is really what he's looking for. And I would also point out that another defense attorney who's been working on the case pointed out to me, even if the district attorney survives this effort, this is something that won't necessarily go away. Donald Trump and the other defendants can still bring up this issue as the case moves along, even in front of jurors at a potential trial, Phil. So even if they lose this effort, this motion to disqualify the district attorney, Fonnie Willis, still some political points scored for them for sure. So then play this out for us just a little bit. If the DA is disqualified, what happens? Does the case go away with it or does the case continue with someone else? It absolutely does not go away. That's exactly right. The case would continue with someone else. There's this independent body here in Georgia that would get the assignment of finding a new prosecutor and assigning them to this case. But the only hiccup with that, it becomes the timing of it all. Remember, Donald Trump does not want this case to go to trial before the election in November. So the question is, can this independent body find a new prosecutor quickly enough to pick up the case, get read right up to speed, and then hopefully in their view, bring it before trial. That is a tall order. But remember, even if she does stay on the case, she has requested a trial date of August 5th, and that still has not been set. So regardless if she stays on or off, the question is still up in the air on whether or not this case will go to trial before the election, though the district attorney, Fonnie Willis, has certainly made clear that is absolutely her goal, Phil. All right. Olivia Rubin from Fulton County, Georgia. Olivia, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.